I threw all the crab apples over here into the field and um, they were crab apples that I'd picked and they turned out not to really be suitable for the use I picked them for. So I threw them over here in the field thinking that some animals may come and get the use of them anyway, maybe some deer or something. And look at this, you can see where the weeds are disturbed. At least I hope you can see, maybe you can't, but you can see along here, maybe where the weeds have all been disturbed. Um, see there's, well, there's one of my crab apples. There's another one there. There's another one there. You can see <laughs> that one's got tooth marks in it. You can see where something's been biting on it. You can see how the grass is all laid down. All in through here. It's all disturbed. That's a sign that something's been in here eating the apples. Oh, look at this one here. It's chewed in half. See that? Something's been eating that. There's another one the same way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's good to know that something's been getting the benefit out of them anyway. I just thought I'd show you that. It's kind of neat. Over underneath those old apple trees that are dying, I've noticed the ground has been disturbed like that. And that's because that's where the deer lay down. At night, that's where the deer lay down. And when I made my campsite, I purposely made it in an area where I could tell the deer had been laying down. Because the deer know this place better than I do. And they're not stupid. And if they choose to lay down there, then I know that's a pretty good spot. So that's where I made my campsite. Anyway, talk to you all later.